Hi guys, I have a special video for you today. A preview of some review videos coming up with the company Arteza. That is an art supply company that reached out to me recently and asked me to do some product reviews. So I got them in the mail and I thought it would be fun to do a little unboxing and talk about my plans for future videos. So I haven't obviously opened up the boxes yet. This is how they came to my house. And it'll be like Christmas. We'll get to see what we got, okay? So first of all, move that out of screen. This, it says, is 24 acrylic colors. So we got some acrylic paints. I was able to sort of ask them which art materials I could review based on what I do on my channel and also what I do in my classroom. And I asked for larger containers of acrylic that seemed to be a little more similar to my golden fluid line that I like to use. This is what I use for all my acrylic pores is golden fluid acrylic line. And they are not very viscous. Viscous is today's vocabulary word that basically means the, the thickness of the paint versus watery paint is less viscous. Thick paint that stands up on its own, thick body paint would be very viscous paint. Um, so these are, as I understand it, a lot more viscous and we will compare them. Um, I will compare them with my recipe in a upcoming video, but also I'm going to compare them to this generic school quality paint because I want to be fair. This is a lower budget paint. It's not price, it's not at the same price point as this. I'm assuming it might have a lower pigment load, but can't wait to be pleasantly surprised. This is a more affordable paint. This is literally generic school supply catalog acrylic paint uh, that I buy for, I think these range about like $30 for a half gallon versus I think this was probably $35 for this quart. I think that's a quart. 32 fluid ounces versus, it doesn't say how many ounces it is, 64, half gallon, 64. That is a video coming up, uh, acrylic comparison. I will try to, uh, acrylic, I'll try to do an acrylic pour using my same recipe like I would with the acrylics and then I'll also compare it side by side to that and compare it side by side to just painting with it as if it was my school quality paint. Coming up, that's one video. Let's see what else we got in here. Set that to the side. We have uh, 12 half pans of water Watercolors, sorry, the, the packaging was not labeled very well. Uh, these are your half pan watercolor set and it comes with a brush pen so you would fill that with water and you could use it instead of dipping in a cup of water. Um, we'll check that out with a comparison with, I am not a watercolor artist professionally but I like to play around with watercolors. And this is the brand that we have here at school. This is your Prang Basic School Quality Watercolor Set made by Dixon Company. Ticonderoga, oh, they make really good pencils. And I do like their watercolors for school purposes. So we'll compare them to that. Then, they sent me some canvases, so we'll do our acrylic pouring on these Arteza brand canvases, 11 by 14. This is a box of eight, eight canvases. Looking forward to trying those out. They look like they are stapled in the back, not necessarily gallery wrapped, but back stapled 
and it looks like to be about a half inch profile, 11 by 14 inch canvases. Look forward to checking that out. And finally, in this box, there are two boxes, the other one is smaller, is a pad of cold press, dual sided, acid free, glue bound watercolor paper and mixed media paper. Nice. I'm excited about this. Um, I do have, hold on a second, I'm back. This is the paper that I buy for my students. I use it very sparingly with them. They do most of their watercolor practice on in their sketchbooks and or on drawing paper. And then when we get to final project stage, then we work on this watercolor paper. Because watercolor paper is expensive. And this is not even 100% cotton, I believe. Cold press, durable surface, watercolor, paper by Canson Company. XL. This is 140 pound. This is also 140 pound. And I'm assuming this is also not 100% cotton because that gets super expensive and usually is sold in single sheets, I believe. So this would be a good comparison, brand for brand. We'll do a video. We'll do like an acrylic video and a watercolor video coming up. Okay, that's all that's in that box. And then we have one more little box here check out. I'll tell you, it's like Christmas. What's in the box? Also, before I open this box, I want to say that I will be providing links in the description to these products on the Arteza website. Yeah, I'll be an affiliate, um, but I am going to be truly honest about what I think about these and wouldn't necessarily recommend you clicking on the link until you see the review because this is just the preview of the review. What's in the box? It is a white box inside a box. What's in the white box? I think I know it. I think it's the watercolor pencils. Woodless watercolor pencils. That's pretty cool. I like the idea that it's woodless because that just means more, more paint and pigment. So watercolor colored pencils are like water are, are like colored pencils in that you can draw with them like colored pencils but then you could activate the color with a wet paintbrush you can dip them in water before you draw you could draw onto wet paper so there's various ways that you can use these it's i do have a class set of very low quality watercolor color pencils that I hate and my kids don't even really use them because they don't work very well. This is also generic catalog, art supply catalog uh, quality watercolor colored pencils. Um, and they just look like, and these are not woodless, so you just, they look like regular colored pencils, but they say on them that they are watercolor. So, I look forward to comparing these and seeing how much better these are going to be. I really hope they are because they have really vibrant colors. There's like a hot pink and, and a nice turquoise color, bright purples. Very, gosh, there's like three purples, two blues, several oranges, three reds, a pink. It's a nice assortment of colors. Uh, we'll talk about how well it fits the full spectrum in the later videos. I also have these that I bought which are maybe a little higher quality. Uh, water, these are called water soluble wax pastels. The fact that they have the word wax in them makes me think they're not going to be that great and I haven't even tried them yet but I did I bought them with my own money I hadn't I have not gotten around to trying them um, but we'll see we'll see how these three products measure up so we'll have a watercolor here we'll have a watercolor review comparing the 
pans to the pans and the paper to the paper, which is here, the paper to the paper, Arteza versus Prang watercolors, Arteza versus Canson paper, Arteza versus Reeves, and also School Smart Saks catalog brand of the watercolor soluble marking utensils. We'll see how it goes. That will be one video, and then our second video will be the comparison of the Arteza acrylics to Golden acrylics and also to the Saks True Flow catalog quality acrylics. And we will check out their canvases. I have some other school quality canvases in the back maybe that I could compare these to, I think. If not, I'll get some in the meantime before the acrylic video. So check it out, coming up. I will go ahead and put affiliate links in the, in the description so you can check out the products and see the pricing. But I'm not telling you my thoughts on the products yet. That's to come. Hope you'll check them out. Thanks, bye, have a good day. Let me know what you think in the comments. Like and subscribe. Click the bell icon in order to get more notifications. And don't forget to check out my paintings and my merch like this shirt on seaholesharp.com. Bye. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Did you know I have an Instagram? I do. I update it daily. Lots of new posts on what I'm working on. New ideas and my most current projects. You can keep track of what I'm up to on there. So go and follow me. Check it out.